This video breaks down the trade between the New Orleans Saints and the Philadelphia Eagles, and it explains how this affects the 2022 NFL Draft, so stay tuned. <music> Uh, the trade itself is the Saints obtaining picks 16 and 19 in round one, and they also get pick uh, 194. It's a sixth round pick. Now, in return, the Eagles get pick number 18 in the first round. They also get pick uh, 19 or 101. That's a third round pick this year, and pick 237. That's a seventh round pick this year. In addition to those picks, they also get a 2023. First round pick and a 2024 second round pick. Now, why did this trade occur? Well, let's start with the Saints. The Saints make this trade for the sole purpose of getting their quarterback this year in the 2022 NFL Draft. The question is, do the Saints trade up from 16 or do they stand pat and get their quarterback? And the reason why I say that is you really don't have to trade up uh, to get your quarterback. Mac Jones was the 15th pick in uh, this this last year's draft, and he would be the best quarterback in this draft. He would be the number one quarterback off the board. Now, Dan, if you don't need to trade up to get your quarterback, why do you make this trade at all? You do it to get help. Now, the Saints defensively last year gave up 19.7 points per game. That was fourth best in the NFL. You add a weapon to this team you could, you could do both things. You could get your quarterback at 16. You can add a weapon at 19. You could easily make the playoffs. Now, why do you do that? It's because you want to lessen the value of the 2023 first-round pick, kind of like the Rams did. They gave the Lions a 32nd pick in this draft. Well, that's not nearly as valuable as the 16th pick, uh, which they're giving up this year. So if you make the playoffs, you know, you're going to end up getting a pick in the 20s, ideally a pick in the 30s if you're really lucky, and that's kind of the goal of what the Saints are doing. In my mock draft, the Saints would end up getting Matt Coral, the quarterback out of Ole Miss at 16, and then they would get Garrett Wilson, the Ohio State wide receiver, at 19. In my scenario, Wilson helps you day one, and Coral starts for you in 2023. Now, why do the Eagles make this trade? Same exact reason. If you don't have a top 10 quarterback in the NFL, you're either going to trade for one or you have to draft and develop one. Now, the Eagles have Jalen Hurts. Now, he's not a top 10 quarterback, but he is young. And you also drafted a wide receiver in the first round last year. And you also did the year before. So you have some young developing talent there in Philly. So basically what the Eagles are doing is they're giving 2022 uh, to Jalen Hurts. I'm saying, hey, here's your chance. If he doesn't take full opportunity of it, they have enough trade capital that they can use the 2023 draft to get a quarterback if Hurts proves that he isn't the guy. So... Both the Saints and the Eagles uh, are using this trade as an opportunity to get their quarterback. The only difference is the Eagles, they've seen enough in Winston to know he's not the future of the franchise. The Eagles are giving Jalen Hurts 2022 as an opportunity. If he doesn't take full advantage of it, a quarterback will be drafted by the Eagles in the 2023 draft. Originally in my mock draft, I had uh, Trayvon uh, Trayvon Walker going to the Eagles at 15. If he's still available at 15, he's, he's definitely uh, somebody the Eagles should take advantage of. He shouldn't be at 15. He really shouldn't be available, but in my mock draft, he is. And then at 16, uh, the Eagles did take Traylon Burks. Now, at 18, instead of going Burks, they're going to take Georgia linebacker Nicobe Dean. So I have at 15, Trayvon Walker. At 18, another Bulldog. Nicobe Dean. Uh, just to recap my mock draft, 15 is Trayvon Walker, 16 is Matt Carroll, 18 is Nicobe Dean, and 19 is uh, Garrett Wilson. Now, who won this trade? Well, it's obviously too soon to tell, but I really like what the Eagles did here. Uh, you get two picks in the first round this year. You have a cheap starting uh, quarterback with young talent surrounding him, and in my mock draft, you get two studs that are going to help you uh, defensively. And then you also have uh, two picks 
in 2023, just in case uh, Jalen Hurts, you know, you give him a chance. He's not starting quarterback. He's not your franchise quarterback. You you just used draft capital in 2023's draft to, to get your guy. The Saints, on the other hand, make a big desperate move here. Now, if you want the first quarterback off the board, you have to trade up. And how high do you have to trade up? Now, if the case was that they made this trade so they can make another trade to trade up, they should already have that in play. And if that's the case, you're using multiple draft picks over multiple years to trade up. And, and there's no Trevor Lawrence in, in this draft. There's no really franchise caliber uh, quarterback in this draft. Well, it's obviously too soon to tell. And with quarterbacks, you never know. But... Um, if you have to trade up, then you, you're you really grasping for straws. Now, in my mock draft, Matt Carroll, or Coral, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing the name here, at 16 makes a lot of sense. Uh, he, this would be a great fit. You're, you're set in SEC country. You got to see a lot of this kid. Um, having him sit for a year plus at 19, you still get a guy who can help you this year. Makes a lot of sense. And... That's not a bad situation, but if you're using these two picks to trade up, it's way too much draft capital, and there's really not a QB in this draft that I would want to use multiple picks for multiple years. And either either way, uh, good luck to the Saints. It's a, it's, it's a risky move. I really hope it pans out. Now, if you haven't already, give me a thumbs up, like this video, share this video with your friends, Tomorrow, I'm going to break down the Pittsburgh Steelers and what they're going to do with the 20th pick in the 2022 NFL Draft. So I will see you tomorrow.